Hey guys, welcome back once again. You can see behind me, you've got a snowy day going here. Uh, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Been out in the shop just messing around doing some stuff. I built a little phone holder and everybody kind of liked it. So I thought I'd kind of show you how, how to build it. This is almost one done here. This is epoxy resin here. I'll show you how I molded this. Um, again, you probably know I'm in the water industry. So um, this is a hydrant little base for it. This piece here will clip into the hydrant like so. And I don't, my cell phone's on the rack there. So take a video so I don't have them. So your cell phone will just sit in there like so. Okay. So I'll show you how, how I make this, how we make the barrel. We start with the barrel, turn it on the lathe and then add the nozzles to it just glue the nozzles on and then we'll cut the uh, operator nut stuff like that also made one with epoxy with a little blue tint to it kind of give it just a little different look uh, kind of look like that and then i'm also working on uh, another design for a sewer um i got just a profile here my bottom base here is just supposed to replicate a curb and gutter here for street gutter then this is back of curb and then the manhole lid here on the sewer one what I'm, what I'm working on we'll see how it comes out um, is it's going to look like the lid has been blown off by water like a backup and then it's going to hold up here so I've already got this piece cast in my epoxy setting up right now so we'll see how that one comes out at the end this is what the finished hydrants kind of look like uh just this all out of walnut um just like i said turned these on the lathe made the caps and then uh, this is kind of what the finished product will look like okay here we cut the cap off i don't know if you see it from that angle we cut this cap off with the water spraying out, like you took the cap off the hydrant, laid it here. And so we still got to finish this one out and then finish epoxy in here. We'll let the epoxy run over, let it run down the curb and gutter also. So, um, this is the uh, B carb desktop for the CNC. Here's my pattern here, the curb and gutter, hole for the hydrant, valve box. This area out here is the gutter and then the uh, little spot here cut down for the phone holder. Let me show you what it looks like in 3D view. So there's the 3D view of it. And then we textured the top here. Um, again, there's the valve box now. And you can see the curb gutter and here and then the little ledge for the phone to sit on. All right, we're gonna start working on the, um, this is just kind of simulating a hydrant. And then um, what's gonna look like here, we're gonna use some clay mold, clay molding here. We're gonna create a water stream out of the hydrant, splashing against the back of the phone. We'll get that molded up and then make a, uh, using some mold maker. We'll uh, make the mold and then pour this in resin. We'll come out and then make it splash out against and go down. So we're gonna start with that next. So I've got a piece of wood in here. I'll probably leave this in, uh, help make my mold and then we'll just cut it off there. And then I'll use the back here for my angle. And then this will be flush here. And then your phone will sit against that.
the little box for it. Here's the clay mold I took off. Or we put on here, made it. So there's the front, just made a box, and we're gonna pour these in here, cast the mold, pull the mold off, and then we should have this impression inside the mold to pour our epoxy. So that works. All right, I forgot to shoot the video. I got to go in there and uh, so we got the mold maker in our form here, and we're gonna let it set up. See how it comes out. First time I've done this, so we'll see. <clears throat> All right, here's the uh, mold here. Came out really good. Um, I've already used it a couple times. Just wanted to show you what it looked like. Um, so basically, when I poured this, I poured it like that to keep from, otherwise I'd had all this volume here that's just a way so. Um, kind of made it with these boards here, set it in, keep it flat. And so all we do is mix our epoxy up. We'll put a little spray in there, release spray in here, uh, mix our epoxy up, pour it in level, let it set, and then pop our proper pieces out. Um, that's what makes this piece right here. All right, so we got a uh, inch and a half by an inch and a half stock here we're gonna turn the barrel for the hydrant it'll look just like this so we'll get this turned all right the next piece we're going to turn are the caps uh, we'll turn the big one here and then a couple of small ones on here. All right, so we're just cutting these apart. So you got to see here the piece. All right, we got our platform here all made. Got a finish on it, next step. And then we have our uh, epoxy resin piece that we molded, like water spraying out. And the next step is we're just gonna take a little more epoxy and we'll put it here and then let it run down the curve to make it look like it's running over. All right, so we got these uh, phone holders. These are just some desk phone holders put on your desk at work. Uh, these are hydrants. This is, I built this one too. It looks like a, supposed to simulate like a sewer manhole blowing off. I uh, hope you can see that. We'll take a little more close up pictures of them. Uh, so we got one here and I just didn't clear. This one here did with the little tent blue in it. Uh, so then you just have it on your desk like that. And you take your phone. And, Set it on there like so. And then on the sewer one here, the sewer manhole blowing over, you just set your phone on there like that, or you lay it up on top. So, guys, appreciate you again watching. I'll get you some close up pictures of these, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.